Iowa 28, Nebraska 21. Let's jump into that one. That was on Friday. Nebraska's postgame win expectancy in this, 97%. How, how did I? How did Iowa win this game? Iowa won the fourth quarter 19 to nothing. How? how? But how? So this is, I will tell you this. Uh, I wrote down uh, the first three quarters, I thought Logan Smothers was going to make Scott Frost look foolish for playing Martinez for so long, right? This is yep. what I what I was curious about going into this game. Once they announced that Adrian Martinez was out for the game, I said, okay, <laughs> either this is a program issue where everybody in the program chokes or this is just an Adrian Martinez. I was excited at the idea of Scott Frost something playing. something different. Yeah. Just, you just wanted to see something different. Like, is it is it always Adrian Martinez that makes the mistake, or is it the program making the mistakes overall, right? Because we always blame it on Martinez, because you can always count on him to give you uh, I, a hey, turnover, I, right? I, I blame it on Scotty a whole lot. So I'd, yeah. I'd like to, I have blamed Martinez a bunch. I have, I have a fair amount of blame for Scotty. Do you think there's any world where after this game, the administration looks around thinking, why in the hell did we give him a vote of confidence for next year? No, Can we because take they, back? Can they, we fire him? They cut his set. They, they did basically the same thing that they did with Jim Harbaugh last season, right? So you think we're going to get the same result? No, absolutely you not. You think we'll get anything close to it? Mm, no, not cl- No, it, not making a Big Ten title I'd game. Fire, I'd that. fire the shit out of him <laughs> right now. <laughs> Right after that game, it's like they were trying to lose because they thought they'd get a better draft pick. This is like they were like Iowa. winning the game. It was like whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, if we win this game, it actually hurts us. Let's let's look. This is the Philadelphia Eagles last year. This okay? is let's Iowa though. This out. is this is what Iowa does, and they do it against Nebraska. This was the joke going into the game. Was okay. How is Nebraska? going to lose a one possession game to Iowa. Like what what mistake, what what crazy thing that we haven't seen are they going to do that we haven't seen yet? Gary, and, this Iowa offense might be the worst Iowa offense I've ever seen and yeah. they were doing it with their backup quarterback. Like this is not even the better quarterback of the worst offense I've seen in Iowa in at least 15 years. Yes. How, how is how do you let that guy score on your 14, a uh, 19 points? On it, like, I don't, I don't get that. Well, so it wasn't the offense that scored for Iowa, really. You know, oh, it's, it, yeah, it's defensive scores, it's defensive possessions. Yeah, it's, it was a punt return for a touchdown. It was, yeah. uh, it was interceptions. It was a safety. It, I mean, just crazy, crazy crap well, in this ball game. Of, then all of that does go on Scotty. Yes, yes, that's that's what I'm saying. It, this was a Scott Frost situation. Like yeah. they choked. In the biggest game of the year, which, I mean, they've got a ton of big games every year, but they choked. But also, they gave up 186 rushing yards, 196 sack adjusted, but Iowa was finally able to get some traction on the ground and was able to push them around once once they got late in that ballgame. And Nebraska did not know what to do with them. You know what I kind of feel about? This is the reason I want Scott Frost fired. Like, I don't actually want some coaches to lose their job. Some guys I think are a piece of crap. I don't know that Scott Frost is a piece of crap. I just don't think he's a good coach. Here's here's the reason I actually want them to make a change. And it's not so he can lose his job and these other coaches lose their jobs. It's This is a fan base that, that sold that mother out. Like they yeah. show up for losing teams that give them nothing all the the time now some of this is a little ain't a whole lot else to do in new orleans or in, in, in nebraska, nebraska. The, like like i see I you reading them comments my, talking about the the low country food and cajun food and whatnot down there. <laughs> my <laughs> my team has a bad season and we're not selling the upper deck out you know what i'm saying and it and it bothers me a little bit, like show up, but there are things to do around Baton Rouge. Like you could drive yes. 20 minutes, 30 minutes into New Orleans and you're in one of the greatest parties. Like, so why not spend a Saturday night there and watch the game on TV than to go when your team is getting gutted all the time. So I, so I, I get, like, it's a little bit of an excuse, but it disappoints me. Right. Yeah. Like it bothers me that, that the fan base is, is a little bit like that. Nebraska's fans, I mean, they, they have a two, three win season and they are packing that mother out. And I just, I just think, you know what? I make fun of this administration. I make fun of this coaching staff. I, I, I don't have a problem making fun of Nebraska. Yeah. I kind of feel bad for their fans and I kind of would like to see them have a hope of something different because next year it, it ain't going to be any different, Carrie. It's yeah. just not. I don't, I don't think so either. I don't think it will be either. 
looking in, Jerry Kill is going to be New Mexico State's next head coach. We've known that. Uh, I'm trying to find some of the some of the latest stuff. I was wondering about Nebraska. South Florida quarterback is into the transfer portal. Do you do you think it's just was quarterbacks? Cade Fortin. Yeah, it was okay. Like he he got hurt, and then uh, Timmy McLean came in, and Timmy McLean kind of started running the offense a lot better. And so, you know, I'm I'm looking to see if uh, if anybody has been fired this morning, but I don't. I, see I haven't anything. seen anybody so far. But normally, this is when we would get uh, firings. So, making a lot of moves. They have uh, they've hired a bunch of uh, coordinators <laughs> from or coordinators and, and assistant coaches from like G five schools that are. Actually, pretty successful. So, but, but yes, th- do you think it's a quarterback issue at Nebraska? Like, it, do you nope. think that I think it's just Scott Frost issue? I, I think I think it is too. And so we'll see one more year of this, and the buyout, of course, has been dropped. This is Scott Frost betting on himself. I don't but know here's that the I would problem: the buyout this. doesn't matter because all of the money that they're going to save on Scott Frost, they're about to bring in a new staff. We just talked about that. Yeah. All of those guys are going to have to be bought out if it doesn't work. So, so you're just spending the same amount of money to hope to get something different next year. But I doubt it's going to be different. I doubt so. So, yes, Scott Frost isn't going to get a boatload of that money. But all of the, the new OC, the new DC, the new quarterbacks, coach, all of it, like all the staff that comes in, you're going to have to pay all their contracts. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. And if you're not going to go spend big money on those guys so you can get a cheap firing next year, like you're just going to be worse than you were this year. Yes. Yes. You're 100% right. 100% right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.